Hello everyone. In this session, we will be talking about risk management in technology, RMIT for Malaysia, and how the Microsoft Compliance as Code initiative can help financial services industry in their journey to the cloud. On April 19, 2021, Microsoft had announced its Bersama Malaysia initiative, which marks a significant commitment to empowering Malaysia's digital economy. As part of the plan, Microsoft will establish its first data center in Malaysia. Because of that, we feel that this has opened opportunities for us to work with the Malaysian government and regulatory bodies like Bank Negara Malaysia to ensure that we meet the statutory requirements. Bank Negara Malaysia is the central bank of Malaysia. The role of Bank Negara Malaysia is to promote monetary and financial stability, and this is aimed at providing a conducive environment for the sustainable growth of the Malaysian economy. In 2019, Bank Negara Malaysia released the RMIT policy to provide financial institutions in Malaysia with guidance on strengthening their IT security. So why RMIT? The RMIT policy has created to, was created to ensure that the Malaysian financial institutions properly manage their cyber risk exposure by establishing the necessary risk frameworks, governance structures, policies and procedures. The published RMIT policy covers following six domains. There's a technical domain and there's a non-technical domain. So within the technical domain, there are actually four areas. The first area is the technology risk management. The second area is the technology operations management. The third area, cybersecurity management. And the fourth, on technology audit. On the non-technical domain, there are two areas. The first one is internal awareness and training. And the second, and very importantly, is the governance. Microsoft Compliance as Code is a programmatic approach for automating the implementation, the validation, the remediation, the monitoring, the reporting of the required regulatory compliance standards for the respective organizations. This tool will provide a coverage for the four technical domains. The local Malaysian team had actually taken the RMIT guidelines and mapped it into our Azure policy. And with the click of a button now, FSI customers can turn on continuous monitoring of RMIT compliance for all the resources that's deployed on Azure. Compliance as code helps FSI conceptualize the design and maintenance of security infrastructure in compliance with their business goals. And it can be baked into the Azure lending zone. Azure policy helps to enforce organizational standards and to assess compliance at scale. We are pleased to announce that we have successfully launched RMIT Azure policy and it is currently available to all our customers worldwide. Customers can now enable RMIT Azure policy in their cloud environment to constantly check the compliance status to RMIT guidelines. Microsoft Defender for Cloud is another tool uh, whereby we're providing for security posture management and threat protection. For workloads running in Azure, in hybrid, and also other cloud platforms. One of the key features is to manage organizational security policies and assess compliance. Once you've enabled the RMIT Azure policy, the compliance status will now be showing here. If you'd like to know more, here's the link for you to check out on more information. Thank you.